I definitely wasn't planning to do this video today. So I thought I would film a, a video. <laughs> In my transition, I am probably most known for having the perfect hair. It really isn't. Everyone likes my hair. Like the comments, your hair is amazing. Wait, no one's ever said that to me. <laughs> Someone comment on my Instagram posts. My Instagram is here. Go follow me, comment that my hair is amazing. Okay, so I thought I'd share with you guys some tips on how I make my hair fabulous because my hair is fabulous anyway, but how to make hair fabulous. Yeah, let's, let's take this entire tripod because I, I'm, I'm a normal teenager. Can we just quickly know what I'm carrying? <laughs> okay, let's go into the bathroom. It's been ages since I've been in the apartment to film a video. To start off with, I think I'm gonna cover what conditioner I use and what shampoo I use. To start off with, I use this shampoo. It is the Tresemme Luxurious Moisture for dry and dull hair. This is the conditioner that I use. I use this for colour, vibrance and protection. This is why I don't do hair tutorials because I find them so cringy to make. You guys should subscribe to make me do better cringy content. Yes. <laughs> then what I like to do is run the bath. The handle. Come on handle, don't do this to me. You want to make sure that the bath water is very warm. Not hot and not boiling, but very, very warm. When the bath has got to its watery limit, you want to strip down and get in the tub. Some people ask me for, what amount of what do I use on my hair? Here we have really cheap conditioner. I use about this amount of shampoo. I use about half that amount for conditioner. My hands are really wet and sticky. Why did I do, why did I say that? Oh. <laughs> I really should have thought about this before doing it. I'll catch up with you guys after I've got out of the shower. Did you miss me? <sighs> okay. Whew. There are a few things I forgot to cover. The water that you clean out the shampoo has to be very warm. And the water that you rinse your hair when it's got conditioner in it has to be ice cold. Beauty is pain. I probably don't go through enough pain yet. I've got this YouTube channel for that pain. What you do want to use though is one of these. They they do stuff to your hair that dries it good. So you, yeah, you just throw that on. And you're gonna need one of these kinds of combs. It makes your parting decent if you're like as fabulous as me. Oh, and, and you're gonna need one of these types of combs because you need to comb your hair when it's wet. You're gonna need something a bit like this because you just need a comb. And, um, one of these. This is a detangling brush. It's got Moomin on it. You just gotta love the Moomin. Yeah. When you've got this on, what you want to do is slowly massage your hair like this. I know I'm wearing it the wrong way around, but this is so I can see the camera. Then you want to get the outside one if it's double sided and do the sides. You just want to keep doing this until your hair is nice and puffy, which is mine is always like. Do this until you start to wonder how sane you are. That's what I always do, but then I question how sane I am anyway. Yeah. I actually call that, I'm kind of impressed. Once you have finished drying your hair as much as you feel is necessary, and also drowning in self-pity, you wanna get a comb. And if you remember, I said use the wide tooth comb, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Oh gosh. What I usually do is start off with the fringe, like so. And I do this multiple times. And then I instantly go and work on the parting. Now, I only comb it up to the place where it doesn't break. For example, if I go anymore, my hair's gonna split off. Don't go any further if that's gonna happen to you. And pretend everything is okay in your life, even when it probably isn't. Because that's what YouTube is. Positivity. 
and the truth of everyone's life. Ha. Huh. Once you have done that, get your detangling brush and work on the rest. And slowly but surely, your hair will become less tangly. Magical. Once you've done with the detangling brush, you want to get your wide you want to get your wide tooth comb and go back to combing like you did before. And then back to your detangling brush. Then you want to go to the comb and then just slowly go around your hair. But make sure if there are any knots, just stop at the point where there are knots. And then the final thing is to get your perfect parting comb. Yas. What you want to do is make sure you just get your perfect parting comb, get the line, and just work with that line. And then get the comb and go along that parting line. And back to the fringe and just finalize it with just sweeping it to the side and combing it as well. You are done. You just have to wait for the ends to naturally dry and then comb it through. And that's how you have perfect hair like me. Yes. So that was my hair tutorial on how I do my hair. If you enjoyed my self, that sounds really weird. Make sure to subscribe because who doesn't like a socially awkward teenager filled with angst? Yeah. Like, comment and all that really good stuff. I was about to say gay stuff. My life. And yeah, that that's the end of the video. You can click off now. <laughs> Subscribe. Bye. 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 Ow, I just hurt my finger. I'm done with life. It's time to say goodbye.